There are three possible ways that plastic sheet can be heated. Conduction, convection, and radiation. In conduction heating, also called contact heating, a heated plate is in direct contact with the plastic sheet. The size of the sheet is limited to the size of the heated plate. The temperature of the plate is also limited to avoid degrading the plastic. The time it takes to heat thick sheet by contact heating usually makes this method impractical. Convection heating uses hot air to heat the plastic. In thermoforming, convection heating is often used to preheat the plastic sheet. Preheating is used to dry plastic sheet that has absorbed moisture and it also can be used to reduce the heating time at the heating station. Infrared radiation is the most efficient method to heat plastic sheet. Infrared radiation occurs just below the wavelength of visible light. It's part of the radiation spectrum, right up through X-rays and even radar. Infrared wavelengths have much more energy than visible light, so it can be used to heat plastic. Infrared radiant energy travels through the air without heating the air. Its energy is converted to heat only when it hits an object. When infrared radiation reaches the plastic, three things can happen to it. The radiation can be 1. Absorbed by the plastic sheet, 2. Reflected off the sheet, or 3. Be transmitted, that is, pass through the sheet. Absorbed radiation is what we want. The radiation is converted to heat at or slightly into the plastic surface. It is only the absorbed radiation that heats the plastic.